What's up guys, how are we all doing? How are we all doing? Uh, you Mark here with uh, Tech by Mark. Uh, so we've got this 1070. Um, it's a Strix version. It's got uh, one 8 pin adapter. That's the I.O. 2 HDMI, 2 DP display ports. And uh, we're going to be looking at this at the moment and see what we can get in terms of hash rate. That's going to be going on to this rig over here. This is a 6800 XT. I've switched it off at the moment, having it cooled down, I'm sitting at 29 degrees. So this is safe for me to switch off. Let me shut this down and I'll get back to the video with this installed. Check it now. Alright, guys, looks like we're looking at 26.8, that's the going rate for 2070. Uh, on mining champs they say uh, 32 but this must be very old if anybody is getting 32 mega hash a second for a 1070 they're super lucky or oh, they've got some serious oak blocks uh, yes core clock yeah shows to be negative 200 with a memory clock at 740 and that was the old driver 385 we are way past that we at least 80 80 points of new drivers so there's definitely a lot has changed. Normally what an ASUS Strix, let's see, ASUS Strix, 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 Strix. doesn't say anything yeah. But yeah, 31 mega hash, 31, 25 for a super clock SC. Again, these are all old values. Don't think that anybody's actually using these. But yeah, let's see. Now this is downloaded. Kitchen. Alrighty. Looks like the driver's been installed, 432, that's the current one that we're going with. At the moment, let's just do a quick fan profile reset. Okay, so what I've got you is at 20 degrees, we had 30% fan. At 30 degrees, we had 60%. 40 degrees, 80%, and then it's just a curve up to 80. Never really gets that high, it normally goes up to about 50, so it sits in between you. Yeah, gonna do is we use nice hash and uh, let's go from there. I'm gonna be running, I'm gonna stop this, don't want this to start running now. I'm gonna choose only the ones that I want, so I don't want anything to do other than Dagger Shimoto. Dagger Hash Shimoto. Okay, I'm gonna let that run and we'll be back. Okay, here we have the miner running at the moment. We are getting 25.8, these are the stock clocks that we just got now, sitting at zero core voltage, 100% power, 83 temp limit, zero on the core, zero on the memory, 83 fan is what it's sitting at with 47 degrees. And we are drawing from the computer 278 for the graphics card. And getting 285.82 mega hash. Right, let's play around with settings. What we're going to do is drop the power to 80. Set that. We're going to move this down to negative 400 and go ahead with that. Negative 400 on the core. Let's wait for it to. Share, share, shares. All right, so we're sitting at. 25.4 with 110 power. Yep, it's showing 110 power. Give it one more run. Okay. 21.36 with a negative 400 on the core. Twenty point two one with negative four hundred on the core. So in terms of efficiency, we're looking at one hundred, hundred and eighty-five efficiency. This is terrible. 
All right, let's set this down to negative 200. Uh, wattage is sitting at 116, 119, 120. Okay, bumped up to 22.34, 119 watts, 187 efficiency. Still not great. I know in the T-Rex money you can set absolute core clocks. Okay, 22.97. Again, this is using nice hash. We are using nice hash. Okay, let's do that for the okay, so currently we're getting a hundred and one dollar forty four. Okay, let's bring up what we're gonna do now is set this down to zero. Bump this up to five hundred. Five hundred on the memory. Let's see what it does. So what we've done is we've bumped this up to 500. Decent little jump actually, not too drastic. Currently sitting at 23.41, 24.55. I'm gonna go to 148, 150. Okay, we're running at 80 power limit, 150 on the core. 500 on the memory current usage we're getting 25.25 mega hash 121 power sitting at 210 efficiency per watt okay our new value is dollar 65 for gtx 1070 Okay, we got up now to 26.11, 26.34. Right, let's see if we can bump that up to, I think the max I can go is 160 or 170 on this card. Let's go, 170 now on the core. Okay, no change just yet. Okay, 2648 with that memory bump. So not much has changed. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to change the memory to 700. Twenty six point five five is now a new number for the mega hash. Wattage hasn't really changed. We're still sitting at one twenty. Power draw is still one twenty. Okay, twenty six point four eight looks to be the current number. Okay, let's try and change this power limit. We're gonna go now and change power limit to ninety five. This should drastically bump up the power to 140 watts. Twenty six point six nine at one hundred and forty watts. Twenty seven point six eight, hundred and forty one watts, sitting at hundred and ninety six efficiency. So at the moment the twenty six point four was 
between our best 26.5 and 120, 22, 221 efficiency. 27. So yeah guys, uh, having a little bit of issues with the card, looks like we're doing some stale shares, sitting at 185 on the core, sitting at 95 on the power limit, 720 on the memory, getting 72.93 mega ash at 142 watts, not very efficient. Current profitability at $2.18 US. How's it guys? Alright, so it's been about five minutes now. We're sitting at 28.06 mega hash at 145 watts. And uh, that's what I'm going to push the card to. I'm not going to go any further. So I'm going to if I dial it back now to 500 on the memory, 148 on the core. That's where I'm going to leave it at. Found these were the best efficiency settings for the card. That's just one minute. Okay, that was 27.63 at 142 watts. Dropped it down now to 75 power limit. So if I can bring down that value. Also, the wattage is now 110 watts. We're getting 26.72 mega hash. 236 efficiency. So I found this to be pretty much the best that I, uh, I'd like to run this card at. Uh, thanks for joining. And... Um, if you could be so kind, like and subscribe, be a great help. Thank you, thank you.